Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clarice channel. Thank you for clicking. Once again, I want to appreciate all of you for taking time to watch my channel. I am truly grateful for your support and your encouragement, your kind words, and truly grateful. All right, so today we're going to talk about fence wall construction for one of my subscribers, Anthony and Olivia. All right, so take your time and don't skip the video. Yes, don't skip the videos. The answers or the questions that you'll be asking me, the answers are right here in the video. So just take your time and watch the entire video. Don't skip it. Okay, in case there's an advert, please don't skip it. And that's where we generate our income from. All right, so take your time and watch the video. And if you don't understand anything, you can drop me a comment and I'll be so much happy to, to respond to it. If you need a competent mason, Mr. Stephen Upon is available. He does parapet design, fence wall designs, windows, pillar designs, and coping. Okay, yes, Stephen is well versed and he's very good with his craft. Are you with me? So that's it. Without much, I have Brother Sami, who is my my number one carpenter. Okay, so if you need a carpenter, please contact Brother Sami. And then you move on to a tiler. If you need a tiler for pavement, granite cutting, okay. If you need a qualified tiler, please do not hesitate to contact the names on the screen. All right. So here we have Steven explaining some few details as to the gap between the building and the fence wall that he's going to put up. It is always advisable to leave a certain gap between your fence wall and that of your building. The required diameter or length is basically around 7 feet to 10 feet. Okay, that is standard size, basically you have 7 feet. Some people will prefer to make it a 10 feet or even, yes, 10 feet I think is enough, such that they can have their polytank, they can have some cooking, in case they have any events some barbecue and all of that at their backyard so please incorporate that so that once they're going to do your profiling prior to that they have to you know ensure that your five feet or your seven feet space behind your building is available before they start digging the trenches else you're going to have problems in the future all right so on your screen are the materials that we need for this fence wall. A fence wall construction comes with different folds, okay, so I'm going to explain. Those that require iron rods for the pillars and some that do not require iron rods. As you can see, the blocks have been laid back to back to serve as the pillars. So we need blocks, 4,000 blocks for the fence wall. Yes, if you need a certain height, about 10. 10 cores, yes, you need 4,000 blocks. Cement for casting the trenches, which is the um, trench uh, casting is 30 bags. We need cement for the block laying, which is 80 bags. Iron rod, we bought 14 mm, six pieces, 12 mm, two pieces, 10 mm, five pieces. This iron rods was mainly for the front pillars, not for the entire project. This is a one plot I think it's um, 70 by 100 or uh, 7, no, it's 80 by 100. 80 by 100. All right, so we need binding wire and we need sand and chippings for the entire project. Now, digging of the trenches usually is between 2,000 to 2,500, depending on how soft or hard the ground is. Okay, casting of the trenches, 1,000 and blood laying 8,000 and labor for the steel fixer 200. All right, now this estimate does not usually reflect on every project. Okay, yes. It is not to tell you that, okay, the cost of the fence wall for every project is this amount. It may vary, you understand? That may vary. So every mason 
will calculate and give you an estimate based on the quantity of blocks they have to tell you that okay the cost of dengue the trenches this is how much we're going to charge based on the total length or the square meter of the land are you with me yes so that's one factor in your view you can see that there are two holes right here this is another form of safety tank you understand we all we all know about the traditional safety tank that usually consumes a lot of space and very very expensive imagine you having about three to four chambers okay you have to dig about 10 feet down you understand but this type of safety tanks are really good because they are just in a round shape and they don't require a bigger space in your house to be able to fit in you understand so you need all of this within the small space available we are going to provide a toilet right there or a safety tank you understand we call this the covert the covert type the sizes may vary okay and therefore we need to know the sizes in case you need any information pertaining to this covert type of safety tank contact Stephen upon he will direct you to the right guy who will come and dig and make sure everything is okay go and buy the covert and place it in there he will do the sealing of each covert to one covert and the plumber will come and fix the pipe connect all the pipes in the house into this so that when you flush your toilet it comes in here and when it is full the vehicles will come and dislodge you understand so this type of safety tank does not take a lot of space so sometimes you are thinking about where am I going to put my safety tank where am I going to put it because you're looking at the space that you have but look at this this is so easy and this even you can have it in front of your house and have a concrete slab on top and a vehicle can walk on top of it without having any effect on it you understand so this look at the space available you understand look at the space available this is almost about say six feet yes six feet from the back okay and they've been able to manage that space to place a safety tank so in case you need any information on safety tank on this type of covered type of safety tank contact Stephen upon he will direct you to the right guy the guy will come dig and you go and buy the covert and put it right in there and he will do everything for you so as you can see the fence wall is coming up nicely okay they will use some of the blocks as the pillars as you can see them they've been laid as a cross okay after a certain length and they put the block in there so this is another way of reducing costs um, if you don't want to spend money on the board um, the iron rods okay and then chippings for casting and then the cement and all of that this is another method of fencing your house at a reasonable cost because fencing a house can drain your pocket okay it depends on each and every one some people will prefer to have the pillars to make it everlasting stronger you understand some people will prefer to do it this way it doesn't mean it's not going to be strong yeah but will be adding a choice so you cut your codes according to your size whichever one that you want you just have to mention it my team will be there to do it just the way you want it are you with me the height that you want to achieve we will do that basically 4000 blocks will give you this appreciable height are you with me so this house um, initially my burglar proof man mr william he came to install the burglary proof right here mr adum also came to install the aluminium okay um, frame which is the ks50 all right this location is in kumasi you understand this is in kumasi and i have a lot of project that i'm going to share with you actually i don't have the time my work schedule as you know i'm here in dubai i work in dubai electricity and 
I'm in an emergency section and so I'm always busy. When I have the time, that is when I make my videos and I post them. You understand? We have a lot of projects going on. Okay, we are building houses for people, making sure that every dollar is counting. People are not going to be depressed anymore. Yeah, families are not going to eat their money left, right, center, just like they did to me in the past. Okay, I am here to help you. So should you need any assistance, please do not hesitate to send me an email at brightantonio at outlook.com. My name is Mr. Bright. My wife's name is Clara, and that is the birth of the channel Bright and Clara's channel. Okay, see how beautiful the fencing looks. These are modern fence wall. Okay, yeah, these are modern fence wall. They look beautiful. So here we have the small gate right over there and then the bigger gate on the upstream. You understand? It looks beautiful. The house looks unique. Okay, it's about five bedroom house. Very beautiful, unique. The roofing is superb. The window glasses, okay. Yes, and the plastering on the building looks beautiful. The quality of the sand is so unique. There's no clay in it, so it makes the, the appearance so beautiful. All you need right now is a good painter, okay, to give it a good color, and then that's it. Your house is stunning. So, Anthony and Olivia, your house is so beautiful. So beautiful. And the fencing looks great. It looks great. It's been a long time, you know, I should have aired this video a long time ago, but uh, so many things came up. I have so much video. So, this fence wall was done last year december yes last year december thereabouts so there are a lot of projects i need to share with you so from here stephen is supposed to do a security post you know most people most of them are not you need a security post with a washroom such that it's not everybody that you need to allow into your main house to use your visitors toilet there are some guests like people who come to work in the house someone who you know is coming to fix something you know, around the peripheral of the house you don't necessarily have to enter the room to be able to use the toilet in the room so when you have a security post with a toilet and all these facilities right in there it makes it easier for people to ease themselves and then not necessarily have to enter your main room you understand I think you have to create that kind of room. It's not everybody that is allowed to enter your room though. Yes. So on your screen you have Michael Fasa, my mason. He's very humble, unique, yes, very honest and sincere. Contact Michael Fasa. We have Christopher Adade, is also a fantastic mason. Okay, so just pick the numbers, contact them, let them do your project for you. In case you need myself to prepare an estimate for you, I will do that for you at a cost of $60. And once that is approved, then I will assign a team. In that way, I usually assign a mason. I know the strength of everyone who is busy, who is not busy. So I assign a team to go there and do the work for you. If you want to handle the project all by yourself, that's fine. And that is why I put the numbers on the screen. You don't have to, you know, send me an email before I give you the number of a mason. No. They are competent and they know what they are about and I know what I am doing. And therefore, these are people that are credible. Yes, they are credible people that are there to help you. So please kindly be mindful of your utterances sometimes some clients don't know how to communicate communication is key yet yeah, be very polite and you know talk to these people in a way that shows respect don't look down on them you understand you need their services and they need you okay you are out there working and you need someone to build your house for you so communication is very, very important. You understand? Stephen is talking about the quality of blocks. 
Now we have to talk about the type of block we use here. Five inches solid. You understand? Five inches solid. It's a quarry dust and the quality is very good. And Stephen really liked the, the blocks. The quality was really good. See how beautiful the fencing looks. Okay. Stephen is a hard working guy. He looks very small but very smart in the brain. You can see all the projects that I put Stephen through. From last year, when he started this project, up until now, Stephen has not rested. Okay, we've been moving from one place to the other. Okay, yes, we are traveling everywhere and making people smile. And that is my goal. Okay, so if you need my help, please do contact me so I can help you. Yes, that is my goal. Don't make it too difficult for myself. My goal is to help you. You understand? So yes, lovely people. Uh, this is Mr. Bright. And based on my previous experiences, I have converted all my negative energy into a positive one to be able to help people out there who are vulnerable. There are a lot of people out there who need help. They don't have anybody to assist them. And that is when I come in. You understand? If you want to use your family members to build your project and it is successful, that's fine. Some of us have not been successful by using our family members, not even our friends. The people you think you trust, they will even swindle you. They will take your money and double the price and tell you, Fawe bra, oh Fawe home. And because you believe them, you don't even ask questions. But no, that is not how it works. In business, there is no feelings in business. These are principles, rules and regulation, laws. I believe in law. So once we set an agenda that we are going to build a house for you, there is nothing like feelings right in there. No. It's all about the rules and regulation, the terms and conditions governing the contract that I am undertaking for you. You understand? So Stephen is advocating that bring your job to me and I will do it for you. Stephen has been here in Dubai for so many years. He knows how difficult it is to work several hours, send the money home and people eat your money. And that is why it makes my channel very unique because I have people who understand the feelings of others and therefore we put our legs in the shoes of others and say, Ayawanka, when you decide diwanka, ebaya wode. When you decide diwanka, ebaya wode. We should be very honest and sincere. And therefore, be sincere with yourself. Contact me and I'm here to help you. Okay? Stephen is here. Christopher Adade, Michael Fassa, and all my artisans. Everybody is there to help you. And finally, please do not engage my older mason, Alex Tankwa. I have already mentioned that on the channel several times. He's no more with us, so please do not engage him. All right. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and help the channel grow. From me to you, it's Shalom. God bless you wherever you are. Bye-bye.